Welcome to Edinburgh, my little peppers. It's a drizzly Friday north of the border, but we are here and we are excited for the drop tomorrow. So first off, drop these bags and let's see what's what. Look at this. Hey, and fancy meeting you here. <laughs> hey, what are the chances? What are the chances? Lovely weather for it. Lovely weather for it. Well, yeah, very excited. <laughs> Start off with the first drop, then go for the bag drop. Hey. Hey, hey double drop. Here we go, James. Start point for tomorrow. Yeah, head start. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, off. Off, he's off! I mean, the whole point is that you don't know where you're going, so I'm not sure what he's running for. But anyway, isn't he funny? Ooh, hello. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Oh, it's nice. All right, so that is bags dropped, coats on, because it's absolutely dreary outside. We're off for an explore, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I saw this last time I was here and I guarantee this has got to be a Strava segment. So we shall uh, get ourselves in racing mode. I might zip up my coat as well. Who's gonna win Squidge? Last time we sprinted, you did beat me on the way home from the pub. It was down a hill though, not up a hill. Ah, that is right, that is right. Nice. Ready to go? Contender, you'll go on my first whistle. We're gonna start back at the pavement just in case. We don't wanna spoil it this before we've even begun, do we? Gonna We're gonna have to time it right now. No, 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 Don't you tell me how to run this channel, Jamesy. I'm not trying to run the channel, I'm trying to run the stairs. Touche. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's more about rhythm than anything else, isn't it? Oh, James, you're absolutely flying. Seriously. Boy, he's got tickers. Look how fast he's going up there. Jamesy, how is your mind processing the steps so quickly? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right the corner. Oh, how is this so difficult? Woo! <laughs> oh, oh man. How did you do it so quickly? <laughs> oh. Right, that's me done. Woo! Morning, my little peppers. It's Saturday and we've arrived in the nick of time at the drop. Edinburgh starting at up and running. So big shout out to the Darlow team at up and running too. Right, let's get checked in and do this. Is this the winning number? <laughs> in one, he got it in one. <laughs> Guide me on. Nice, looking good. You've got to run the full 10 miles with that on. That's the challenge. I don't think we could do much worse than last time, even if we were wearing the blindfold the whole way around, I'll be honest with you. How are you doing? You all right? Well, how are you? <laughs> oh, you can't. Don't spill your coffee. I've got to spill my coffee. There's no chance that's going to happen. <laughs> We've seen a few hours for a debrief. Nice, looking forward to it. Oh, nice, classy. Look at this deck. I love this. Upholstery. <laughs> Back of the bus, that's where the cool kids go. Back of the bus. Back of the bus, for sure. Not at the front with the nerds. <laughs> Right, so we're starting the launch. <laughs> all right, we are GPS free. We are all set. We've got our little mask. You know the drill. Oh my goodness, I'm warm on it. Relax, look at this. Woo, wet look. Got that red toe brill cream kind of look going on. Cheers, mate. <laughs> now time for a nap. All right, see you on the other side. I love the idea of just watching everyone else having conversations whilst fully blindfolded. Some people talk about the run, some people are kind of excited and apprehensive and nervous, and other people are just having general conversations about the day, which I think is the cutest kind of. <laughs> This is one of the unique selling points of this race. I mean, the whole thing is unique. It's just really cool, really good fun. I'd love to be looking at it with a blindfold off, just watching <laughs> it's everybody. It's a bit like um, when people do like a silent discord, you yeah, haven't got their headphones yeah, yeah. on. You just think like, what is going on inside that tent? <laughs> oh, cute, look at this. <laughs> good luck, 15 milers. Cheers, 10 milers. Thanks, driver, put it there. 
Cheers, mate. Up. Catch you in a bit. All right, welcome to the drop, Edinburgh. Oh, well, everyone's going in absolutely different directions. Why is he going that way? Nobody's been down there. <laughs> I thought that looked like a nice way to go. Look at the bus timetable, that's what we did last time. What side? Oh, Christ. Wow. <laughs> Have we got 10 miles up back in time? What is this? The majority's going that way, aren't they? All right, let's just follow them and see. Yeah. Let's just follow them and see what we get to. All right, Jamesy, how are you feeling? All good. Now I'm awake. I had a little snooze on the bus. <laughs> I just felt his leg go and like twitched. I was like, James, have you fallen asleep? Oh, these two brave souls are going that way. I like it. And in a first on the channel, well, there's two firsts today. One, the merch is out. And two, we are in a different country for the very first time. I've crossed north into the wild lands of Scotland and brought my trusty sidekick, Jamesy Pepper, with us. But before we get started, Jamesy, hold this. Let's do a little spin. Look Check at this. that. Yeah, turn All it. Give hand us a spin. drawn by Ash Willerton. And Brilliant. again, keep spinning. On some really nice, proper, a proper decent fit running top. So we'll see how it handles, but cool, right? And if oh, I yeah. switch, you've even colour coded yours with the running vest. One for the vanilla. <laughs> you can't see the back, but no, it's, it's there. cool. It's, it's there. cool. It's there. It's there. It's there. Nice. All right, let's do some running. Eh? Let's go. This is so scenic so far. Really peaceful out here. I can't believe we're only. 10 miles away from Scotland's first city. Look at this. Look at those hills. Is Edinburgh on the other side of those hills? Do we have to cross them? I'm loving this so far. Oh, I lost glove. How sad, how very sad. Now, we did absolutely no research before coming, which is kind of exciting and daunting at the same time. However, at the minute, we seem to be on a pretty, kind of decent straight road, which is great fun. Although, part of the experience is getting lost. So I do hope that we'll find ourselves somewhere where we have to make a decision, left, right, straight on or backwards. And hopefully, we'll make the wrong one. Because I don't want to run a PB here. I want to get lost in the wilds of Scotland and have a thoroughly, thoroughly good time doing so. So the GoPro, won't pick it up yet, but that is evidently Arthur's seat. Ah. So it turns out we do have a decent landmark to aim for at this point, but it might not be plain sailing because it's when you get into the housing estates or you're met with a railway or main road that you can't cross that you start to add unnecessary mileage to your journey. But for now, we've definitely got something to aim for. Sorry guys, well done. The scenery here is absolutely beautiful. And James said something on the surface. Might sound daft, but it totally makes sense in that it really feels like Scotland here. And it does, it does. It feels different and beautiful and a little bit rugged. Oh, and I'm enjoying every footstep. We're maybe a K in and heading in the right direction so far, as far as we can tell. Lisa K, he's gone rogue. Hello. He's taking a shortcut, but with an unnecessary hill. Obviously a trail run on this fella. I'm digging your sense of adventure, mate. How you doing? How you doing? No shortcut. <laughs> Get in. How you doing? Eh, good. Yeah, you enjoying it? Not bad at all, yourself? Good, I am good, yeah. Do you know where you're going? Eh, uh, following you, mate. <laughs> Don't follow us. We're in the very pretty village of Pennycook. I can see a sign for Edinburgh that way, up ahead. I guess we'll follow it. Even I'm not daft enough to go towards Cornbank in the opposite direction. Oh, but so far, although we've got a lot less lost, a lot less lost than usual, it's been really scenic, really fun, really nice. Enjoying it, Jamesy? Yeah, yeah, it's class. I'm absolutely parched, but Giovanni's Italian and Paddy Curtis give us a drink. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Come on, Jamesy. Let's get moving. Oh, all right, so I think I mentioned that Pennycook was a quaint little village earlier. Turns out it's a massive town. We're now in Milton Bridge. We're still pretty straight, right? Yeah. Don't know how many K we've done. It's a couple. It's a good. I'd say, yeah, about three, four. Three or four K so far. And it's been relatively direct. It's amazing. I was telling Jamesy how quickly you lose everyone. Oh yeah, it was mad. We literally started off with a pack, stopped for a little glass of water and then came out and everyone's gone. Everyone is gone. 
no one behind us maybe about three up ahead that we can see when the road straightens which is either one or two <laughs> things isn't it it's either they're all really fast and absolutely pegging it or they've found a shortcut and we're going the wrong way but alas it's all part of the adventure wouldn't be fun if we didn't have a bit of off course navigation as papa pepper so often tells me Edinburgh this way those with any local knowledge we are at the Gaukley Moss Roundabout and it looks and I can see a couple of runs up ahead that we go straight on for I don't know a K or two maybe what is interesting is this line of clouds looks like a series of peaks off in the distance it does look really cool doesn't it all right now we are at a point at which we could make a decision right what this road comes around cuts on the bottom and goes past holy road should i try that yeah yeah because it says edinburgh that way in the city center but then there is a sign here saying edinburgh seven miles jeez so what do we do i think the when we spoke to earlier went that way i saw her off in the distance what do we fancy should we go off the beaten track? All right, local advice agrees with James's suggestion. So we're gonna go this way, the A7 or <sighs> We've just spotted Arthur's seat again, which is a big boost, as I find that the fact that you don't know whether you're running in the right direction, in the most direct and most efficient direction, kind of makes it harder to run for me. Some people, especially if they know where they're going, treat this like a regular 10 miler and absolutely smash it whereas I psychologically do think it's much more of an adventure and something that you've kind of got to tackle in your mind first and then follow through physically look at this family of deer Arthur's seat what I think are the Pentland Hills up there and a day out with my little brother Jamesy absolutely perfect <sighs> Wonderful, splendid. Come on then, Squidge. All right. So that guy evidently has come from up here. And he was ahead of us before. So I'm wondering whether in an absolute world first for this channel, we took the most efficient route. All right, so the snow sports center is up there. Where are we now, I wonder? That's a cool looking pub. Oh yeah, should we go get the water? Yeah, go on there, let's have a look. How's it going? Uh, Thanks a lot guys, in a bit. Ah, oh, well they were lovely as well. That's two for two on helpful establishments on this run. Get in guys, thank you. Three on. North Road Bridge up there. Over there somewhere. Yeah. The Lothian Burn Junction. Look at that. That is a field of what at least smells like wild garlic. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it smells absolutely splendid. Ah, oh, get a lung full of that. Is this our first look at Edinburgh, Jamesy? I think so. I think we might have picked a half decent route here. I'm over the moon with that. <laughs> absolutely over the moon. I know that viewers, I think sometimes tune in to see how lost I can get. But I think you're a good influence on me, bro. I'll oh. take it, it was an absolute gamble. I think we can see the river down there. That's gotta be the city spread out below us. Where's Those Arthur's mountains, or hills at least, are the other side of the fort. Yeah. Arthur's seat over there somewhere. I'm gonna loop back around. We've nailed this one, Squidge. We've nailed it. Let's do this downhill. I don't know what part of the city or wider area we're in. There's the Braid Hills Hotel but it's lovely around here. Apart from the traffic noise, the air's gone really still. Oh, lovely properties, lovely greenery around it. Oh, this is nice, this. This is really nice. Can we go that way? Let's read this side. I think this is like too far west for us. What, going through here? Yeah, looks nice though, doesn't it? It does look nice. I'm not sure. We've got any good reason to run through this park today, unfortunately. Oh no, there's a map, hang on. We could maybe run through it and come out of Blackford Pond. Where is Blackford Pond? Blackford Pond? Hill. All right, detour engaged. Now it's an adventure. It was being too easy otherwise. Hello there. Hello, Pooch. Oh, wow. 
I love it here. Not sure if it's going to take anything away from the victory of our shortcut earlier, <laughs> but at least it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Listen, that wind howling up there as well. It's relatively peaceful here, but the wind feels like it's just above our heads. Oh, there's a breeze now though. What are you doing up there, James? Is the views nice? Yeah. Where are you going? Oh wow, what a spot. Careful because it'll be slippery with that moss. Oh wow. There's eight catch. Easy. Oh, we'll get a good view of where I go. Whoa. Yuck. Oh dear. Oh no. Where are you going up there? The GoPro doesn't do it justice, but it looks absolutely class. As that path snakes down the hill between all that sweet corn. Amazing. Up here, I think. Yeah. To the top, which must be that, I reckon, left of the mast. Then we'll bop back down, out this side, back to Edinburgh. Jamesy? Yeah. Do you reckon you can run these? The camera's on, the answer is yes. <laughs> that is as simple as it goes. Pressure. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Pooch. Six. Oh. About halfway up, and man, they're massive. Oh, he's given up. He's working. Oh, do you know what, James? I'm with you. They're too, too tall to jog. Woo! Next time we'll get the Strava segment. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> Is spectacular and my little mountain goat of a brother happily jogging down the hill with reckless abandon all right it looks like we're nearing the bottom of our little adventure can you remember the name of it oh. <laughs> yeah we're going there pit stop three complete we're thank you Soderberg now we're obviously in the city centre ish at this point but sometimes that doesn't make it any easier to know exactly where you are yes i think we need to head in this direction but where exactly will we pop out our end or waverly end we shall soon see but we're nearly there now not long at all thank you not long at all all right so in a stroke of luck our great planning on our behalf we've actually popped out on at the correct side of the city centre. And if I remember this correctly, we just run this in straight down here, jink left at the junction, and up and running should be there. Happy days, James, are we running this in? We're running it in. Brilliant, brilliant. How you doing? How you good? How you good? Well done, well done. There is the city centre in all its glory, the castle, the park, all the main streets. We're nearly there now. Thanks, mate. We're nearly there now. How you doing? Hello, mate. Hold on, guys. Hey, how you doing? Well done. But we lost you. We thought. Uh oh. Well done. Well done. Well done, well done guys. Well done. Woo! Woo! Cheers, guys. Well, are we top five? Oh, the silent. Oh, that, that was that. <laughs> Grim. How you doing? Where's the bell? Yay! Nice, thank you. Thank you very much. Show us the bling, show us the bling. Lovely. I didn't mean that, I meant the merch. Oi! How did we do? Did we do alright this time? We've done alright, yeah. Do you know what it is? I wasn't carrying Smitty. Absolute lead way, that's Smitty. Right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you again next time. See you later. Thank you. Catch you in a bit. Alright, so a massive record for us, but how's it been generally? Absolutely fantastic, really good turnout. Nearly everyone's finished. And look at this. The weather's absolutely bloody amazing. Who did you sort of contract to get that? Know, we didn't believe it. Enjoy, Jamesy. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Fantastic weather. You're it, capped at a very jaunty angle, by the way. I'm tired. <laughs> I've just done a run, what do you expect, man? I've just done the Edinburgh drop. The Edinburgh drop? He's just dropped the Edinburgh drop. Just and Edinburgh if you would have drop. smashed it, I appreciate you running with me, because he is faster. I had fun. He said me at one point, he said, if I wasn't with you, I would have ran everything. I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Right. Let's Cheers. go get a coffee. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Enjoy Thank you. Day. Catch you again. Take See you in a bit. All right, so we've replenished a few lost calories at 
August 37 and now I think it's time to enjoy a little bevy or two before the train home. So until next time and thank you Jamesy as always. Thank you very Doosh. much. Take it easy guys. That's a wrap.